Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. Weather Extreme Video, this is the afternoon edition. This is for Monday, the 20th of January. I'm James Spann. Very cold air in place today. Tonight should be one of the coldest nights of the season. We warm up a little bit later this week, and rain comes back before the weekend arrives. So let's talk about things. We'll start with the upper air look across the country. Broad trough over the eastern states. We note that disturbance over Minnesota. That'll be rotating down the backside of that. And as that rotates through here tomorrow morning, there could be a few snow flurries. We had some today over the Tennessee Valley. In fact, uh, that's the visible satellite view. You can see uh, some clouds over the Tennessee Valley of extreme north Alabama. Otherwise, the sky is sunny statewide. But up in that zone, we did have a few snow flurries this morning for places like Huntsville, the Shoals, and Moulton. Temperatures are below forecast. Look at those numbers. At 2 o'clock, it's only 26 for Huntsville, Decatur, and Cullman. Fort Payne, 31. Birmingham, 35. The only city above 40... Over the northern half of the state is Tuscaloosa, where they've got 41. Up north, St. Louis, 22. And, of course, near the Canadian border, temperatures are barely above zero. Minnesota, parts of the Dakotas. But a pretty quiet day, despite the chill. Just a few little pockets where winter weather advisories are in effect. There's a freeze warning down in parts of north Florida. The good news with a cold air mass, no thunderstorms across the country through tonight. No severe weather issues anytime soon. Heaviest precipitation over the next seven days, the upper half of the Pacific coast. Across the southern states, the heaviest rain should be a little west of Alabama. Rain amounts with this next system late this week should be between one-half and one inch. Looks like much of that will come Thursday night and Friday morning. So model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS. This is the 12Z run valid tomorrow afternoon. You see that uh, upper load that's a little east of the state. That's going to be rotating through here late tonight, early tomorrow morning. And again, it might squeeze out a snowflake or two, a flurry, if you will. But otherwise, tomorrow should be sunny and cold. We start the day around 20. The high should be in the low to mid 40s. This is Wednesday. Again, we start the day in the low 20s. The high should be in the low 50s. The sky partly to mostly sunny. Thursday, rain just to the west the sky becoming cloudy. It looks like a decent part of the day could be dry. The rain probably begins Thursday night, the high Thursday around 50. This is Thursday night at midnight. That looks wet, too warm for ice or snow, too cold for severe weather, just good old-fashioned rain. And then Friday, the rain begins to move out. Now, rain could linger maybe into the afternoon for the eastern side of the state. I should be in the 50s on Friday. And Saturday as the weekend begins, snow for New York City, Philadelphia, Pittsburgh. Uh, but again, for us, looks like a dry day. Maybe some lingering clouds. The high will be around 50. Sunday should be mostly sunny with low 50s. And a week from today, Monday the 27th, the northwest flow aloft in a cool, dry air mass. Let's go out 10 days. This is Thursday of next week, the 30th. Troughing moving in, a surface low just north of the state. And that looks fairly wet, so inevitably we'll have some chance of rain over the latter half of next week. This is the European. It's a little slower. It's got the system still west of the state. But again, Thursday or Friday of next week looks uh, fairly wet, but probably no severe weather with no instability. This is the rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble. The mean, the green line, about two inches. Highs slowly rising to about average, really, for the next seven days. Maybe low 60s in here by Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. And this is the CPC outlook for the 28th of January through the 3rd of February, suggesting much of the contiguous United States. Above average, the really cold air up in Alaska, where it looks like it could be brutally cold up there. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.